Hello, I'm going to show you how to uh, make your finale or music score files into videos, uh, like the ones on this YouTube channel. Um, there's unfortunately no way to directly uh, convert your uh, file into a video format, but we can create um, a video using uh, the tools on the Mac. So um, there's three steps. Uh, first, uh, we're going to make an MP3 file. To do this, we're going to go to File. Export, audio file, and then we're going to choose a uh, compressed mp3 file. And you can change the name here. We're going to save it to the desktop. If you prefer to um, create an audio file on GarageBand, then you can create a MIDI file from Finale. So you go to, to make a MIDI file, you go to export, MIDI file, and then we're going to just save it to the desktop again. So that's how you create an mp3 or a MIDI file if you want to mess around on GarageBand. So uh, we can also make um, an audio file uh, from a MuseScore um, file. So, um, But instead of making an mp3, we're going to make a WAV file because making mp3s would require an extension and we don't really want to do that. So um, we're going to go to export and then uh, I'm going to save it to the desktop. I have that as my default. And uh, we're going to choose a uh, WAV file. And you can also choose um, a MIDI too if you want to um, if you want to create an audio file on a GarageBand or something. But um, we're just going to create this WAV file right here. And then we'll save it to the desktop. So this will take a second. And it's going to appear right down here. So now that you've created an audio file, the second step is creating a video of the finale or MuseScore file. Make sure to resize the finale page so the whole page can be recorded. Then open a QuickTime Player, select File, New Screen Recording, and press the Red Recording button. Make sure the built-in microphone is turned off. So now um, drag a rectangle around the finale page uh, you wish to record and hit the start recording button. Then uh, play your finale file. Uh, the loading screen will be edited out later, but you still um, want to move it out of the recording box because it may not disappear before the song begins to play. So I'm only going to record uh, the intro to the song. Uh, when you're finished uh, with recording your finale piece, uh, click the record button on the top right hand corner of the screen. Um, your video recording will appear um, and you can save it to the desktop. The same process applies uh, to MuseScore. Just resize the page, select the recording area, and play the song. Our third and final step um, is putting the audio and the video together. And to do this I'm going to be using iMovie. So let's get this out. And um, I'll drag in the video file right here. I'm going to be using All I Want for Christmas. And here's the MP3. Um, so this is just um, this is just a segment of the song. I'm not using the whole song. Um, so um, as you'll you'll notice, the um, the finale loading screen is still in the video. So we'll want to edit that out. So we're just going to drag this here. Okay, now um, we need to make sure that the audio lines up with the video. So let's um, check and see if it's lined up. So as you can see, it's uh, not lined up. So uh, let's let's uh, drag that. Right here. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna give this a shot. Okay, cool, so that's uh, lined up. And then uh, lastly, you'll want to make uh, sure that the end of the video um, lines up too. So, all right, and then after that, you need to um, you just need to save it to the desktop. I'm gonna choose this. And that should do it.